I'm Pam McHugh, I'm 77 and I'm from Christchurch. Born in Kaikoura and then moved to Christchurch when I was 15 because there were no jobs in Kaikoura for girls. It was terrible going to Christchurch. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, there were no restrictions on me at Kaikoura. <laughs> well, there, was, there weren't many, around, many careers around at that time. You could either go nursing, teach, or work in a bank, or work in a shop, or I worked in a bank. <laughs> Which was very boring. <laughs> My sister was a teacher, and I didn't want to be a teacher because I didn't want to do what she did. <laughs> I mean, when I got married, I had to resign from my work, because I could have got pregnant. You could reapply for your job if you wanted, but you'd, you had to resign. The world's changed. <laughs> Don't come too close. Dis-moi quand on arrive au bout, hein? <laughs> yes, I would have liked to, I think I would have liked to have been a secretary, but we couldn't do the courses at Kaikoura that did it, and I was too lazy to sort of pursue that. But if I'd known what I knew now, I probably would have liked to have worked in a library. And done library work because I liked books, and I loved organising things. I went and worked at another place as a bookkeeping machinist, and did bookkeeping, and then we went to the Cobb Power Station. Oh, you go down over the Takaka Hill and instead of going down into Takaka, which you'd turn right, you turned left and drove up the valley. There were the eight houses up there. Most of the people came from Nelson. And so they'd go back to Nelson when they had their time off. So you really didn't sort of have any social life because they were all coming and going. Very lonely for me. Barry was busy, he was doing his studying. There were one or two other women there that I've, you know, I was friendly with, but they would be away too, on different shifts than we were. Oh, my father was, um, he was a truck driver mostly, and actually he'd driven the public works houses that finished building the railway through Kaikoura. He'd taken them up to the Cobb Power Station for the people building the power station. So he knew exactly where I was going. I think he should have told me about it. I had three brothers and a sister and a very extended family. I think grandfather had 40 grandchildren. Yeah, I had three boys and then I had four grandsons. <laughs> Would have liked a daughter or two. <laughs> and Melissa's the only granddaughter. She's at university. She's studying mechatronics and computer science. My grandson's just got married. I thought he's only 20. What's he doing getting married? They, were go they rang when we were over in Canberra, actually, and he said, I'm engaged. And I said, are you old enough? <laughs> and he said, yes. <laughs> but I think he may have decided to get married because he wants his mother to be still alive for his wedding. Because she's not going to last too long. She's really bad. We were around very far from the epicentre. I was sitting having my coffee at the table and I still to this day don't know how I got outside. You know what the rubbish trucks sound like? Well, if you can imagine one of those coming and banging into the side of your wall, that's what they sounded like. We had the noise with it, and not everybody got it. And I think it was the rocks coming down the hill, moving. So, yeah, it was not good. But the whole neighbourhood just came together and helped each other. It was amazing. We were lucky that, for some reason, our land didn't get liquefaction. Everybody else around us did but we didn't. So ours was just sitting in the middle of it. 
No, I just said to Barry, don't really have any regrets. We had a lot of fun doing a lot of things and had the kids and they enjoyed the life and yeah, they've all done good. They've all done what they should. We did our best. They not, I don't think they listen to us much. But they're still nice kids and they're still fun. But no, they, they're all going in all directions now. I, got, I was very involved with our church. Oh, it's an Anglican church in St Martin's. I didn't actually mind too much which sort I went to. I quite like the... <laughs> the denominations don't worry me that much. <laughs> well, it's just part of life, isn't it? You don't know which one's going to get you. At the moment I've got a friend whose husband's just got dementia and she's going through a not very good place. You're there to help each other go through it, aren't you? Yes, I think that that's probably one of the things as you get older, you don't get many. So you get different ones that you didn't really want. Your health, one thing. Your finance is another. <laughs> Trying to sort of work out how much money you're going to need before you pop off. <laughs> and things like that. And where you want to be and do I want to go into a retirement home. And a lot of people are having to make that decision. And Oh, we're considering. We have to because we've actually got, we've still got our old family home and we've still got an, over a quarter of an acre of land and it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of, we're getting to a stage where we sort of can't travel for very long. Driving for very long isn't good. We need to sort of cut it down to about two or three hours at a time. Not really. We've been, we've done lots of things. So we've done, Barry was, Barry always played hockey. And so we travelled around with the Golden Oldies Hockey and went to lots of places and did lots of things. Seen lots of places that I don't really want to live. It was nice to see them, but I don't want to go there again. And Steve, the oldest son, is married to a Chinese Malaysian. And that family took us up through Malaysia. We had a great time there. <laughs> and us found out all sorts of things in Malaysia. <laughs> Barry's mother came from Australia. Well, we've got our son there. He's got both his cousins are there, I think. They're just sort of interchangeable, really. Yeah, like it actually. Yeah, Barry's brother lived in Tasmania, so we went over there a few times to see them. We like Tasmania. I, I like. I think I like New Zealand because there's not so many people here. It's just not so crowded. I think growing up in Kaikoura I like this place, you could sit up on the peninsula and look and I used to think like, it does look like I remember sitting up there thinking I can see forever. <laughs>